Hello, hello, YouTube. I thought I'd come back and make a quick video just to say Happy New Year's and uh, just be blessed. I am so thankful that I'm still here. My family's here. We've been through so much in 2020, and I know we're going to make it through the next year. There's still going to be some problems, but we know how to survive. We do have that inner strength. And when it's time to push through, you do it. And then later on down the road, you look back on it and you say, oh, how did I make it? But I'm looking forward to this year and just been thinking about a lot of things and, you know, making... Uh, New Year's resolutions and things like that, but mine, I can't come up with a resolution. I, I just think I want to do better about worrying. That's, that, that's the thing I have to, to do is surrender and not worry so much. And when I don't worry, it looks like I have more fun. I'm just enjoying things, so I am blessed. I um, was thinking about how I used to meditate. My first introduction to meditation, it was wonderful. I actually had a chance to meet my spirit guide. And I want to talk a little bit about that, that particular meditation. Um, this is the way you do it. You relax. This is what I did. I can tell you how, how to do it. But the way I did it was was to picture a place that was low, like you're going downhill. So I pictured a place that we went to when I was a kid, a fishing hole called Payne's Bottom. And you, you go down a hill and it's just dirt at the top. You don't you know, you don't even know it's a hole there. So you go down, and as you go down, it, it it's a whole different thing. You got trees down here and water. And we could see water moccasins uh, in, the, in the lake. So I, I envisioned that place. And when I went down, in my mind, I'm going down, down. And I'm observing everything that's around me. And... I got to a point, excuse me, excuse me, my mouth was dry, went down to a place where I could see the trees, the big, I mean, there's shade everywhere, and it got cooler. So I went down there, and the lady that was helping me with the meditation had told me, to, when I get there, when you get to this lowest place, and you're going to ask your spirit. You want to meet your spirit guide. And when you get there, you just wait. And the spirit guide will give you a gift. So it's up to you to accept it and ask the spirit what is their name. So I envision this you know, cool place I had to go down, down, down. And all of a sudden, I saw a cherry tree. <laughs> and uh, it wasn't in, in no cherry trees around, but this one cherry tree. And when I saw the cherry tree, I knew that I was no longer in control of the meditation. I said, oh, I did it, I did it. So... I went to the tree and picked a cherry off of it. And the tree ended up having hands, and it popped me on my hand. I said, oh. And the tree had a woman's voice. She said, these cherries are not ripe. That's your problem. You don't have patience. You need to wait. I said, a talking tree? And I need more patience? So in my mind, I said, oh, is 
this is my spirit guy. So I I stayed in the meditation and I asked the tree, I said, What's your name? And the tree said, My name is Layla. And I said, Okay, so that's my spirit guy. And I said, Where is my gift? <laughs> And the tree says, you need to give me a gift. And I said, what do I have to give you? And in the meditation, I had on a pair of beautiful sandals, the prettiest sandals I've ever seen. So Layla says, give me your shoes. I said, okay. I took my shoes off and gave it to her. But all of a sudden, I was standing on the sand, and the sand was hot. And in my mind, I said, how in the world did I go from this luscious uh, grass that was down in the bottom, and, and all of a sudden, I'm standing on sand and in the sunlight. And Layla wasn't there, but I could hear her voice. And... There was a pool of water, and a snake was in the pool of water. It was swimming around. Then the snake would turn into a fish, and then it turned into uh, a dolphin in this water. And I said, what in the world? Why, why are you changing? What do you want? Here's Layla's voice. It says, people don't know what you want them to be. That's why they're changing. You have to let people know what you want them to do. <laughs> and so I said, oh, that's what this is. And I kind of got huffy with Layla. And excuse me, I got this. I made me this old-fashioned uh, heat thing. It's full of beans. Sometimes I put rice in it. And just in an old sock and put it in the microwave and it, it helps, you know, just a heat heat pad. I'm going to put it right there. But anyway, back to the story. So I, I kind of got huffy with uh, Layla telling me that I need to let people know what I want. Once the fish did, the snake didn't know if it wanted to be, if I wanted it to be a fish. And it was just a whole lot of chaos in this pond. So I said, okay, I understand. Because at that time, I was uh, had a big upholstery shop and refinishing shop. And it was just, sometimes it would be confusing as uh, what people needed to do and repairs, rework, and all of that. So I said, that's, the, that's a good message for me. People don't know what I want. So uh I asked Layla, I said, well, will you give me my shoes back because it's hot? And Layla says, no, I'm not going to give you your shoes back. I said, well, how do I get out of here? I want to go back. And she said, just keep walking. And anyway, I walked up out of this uh, pain bottom, and I, the meditation was over. But I... um. When she told me about patience, you need to have patience. I studied this story a long time about the patience. And I uh, did my birth numbers. And the reason why I'm here is to learn about patience, to have patience. And when I was 17 years old, no, 16, 16. That was the time I was on a Pentecostal church, and that's where I got my spiritual background. But it seemed like all the young people were being filled with the Holy Ghost, and it was just a, a wave of it, you know, like the spirit moved. Everybody, all the young people got the Holy Ghost, got saved. And I started to prophesy during that time, and the pastor of the church said that you are preacher. And I said, oh man. So he, you know, he's passing out preacher's license like it was popcorn, you know, a Cracker Jack gift. So I, it was, it was a revival and all the young people were going to, who uh, preachers were going to make their first sermon. And so I said, oh, what am I going to talk about? And 
I don't know why the subject came. Here I am, 17. And uh, I went to Isaiah. I forget what what uh, chapter it is. But it says, They that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength and mount up with wings of angels, eagles. So <laughs> here I am, 17. And uh, 16, getting this message about patience. They that wait on the Lord. So that was the beginning of my journey. I'm at 17, and I read this um, uh, life path telling me that I am here to learn patience. I learned that. I read that when I was 50, no, uh, early 60s. So it all the dots do connect waiting, having patience, and that's that's something I have to work on, and I'm trying to get better at it, and that's, that's what I need to do is have patience, but even in my meditations, um, that's the thing of patience, too, because you, I, at least I can't, I can't rush through a meditation, I have to relax and breathe, and then just let spirit take me where I need to go. So if I think if we study patience uh, more, because that's what happens to me, I get in a rush. But patience is the thing we need to have, even with uh, this disease, COVID, and being in the house, you still have to have patience. And a lot of people, uh, young couples, are separating, getting divorced because you are stuck in the house with these people and your movement is limited. You, the man can't go where he used to go and the lady can't go where she used to go. And it's, it's a strain on the marriages and relationships. But patience, wait, I say wait. Uh, you just got to learn that thing. And relax. So that's what I want to bring to my audience. I want to thank my subscribers uh, that have subscribed. And I know my message is not for everybody. And I'm not trying to, you know, have a bunch of followers. And this is just a glimpse into my world. My channel is called Mary's World. And I'm just, you know, letting up the shade a little bit so you can see my world and my world is not special uh everybody has their own life to live and but every i i think i'm special just like everybody else but i know myself and i have to make myself better because i know myself and myself is the one, the higher self, that will lead and guide me where I need to go. But the higher self, the middle self, and the lower self, they have to do things in that order. The lower self is the one that is the rambunctious child that just wants to get into everything and spoil. I want this, I want that. The middle self is like the mother figure and trying to keep peace and no you can't have that sugar and you can't do this but the higher self is the the more like the father figure and what I say go and I know the way so that higher self it doesn't say a lot and it'll say don't do that this that and that but it's not gonna be a conversation the middle self is the one that would really talk to you have more conversation but we have to well I have to remember that order and it's still a trinity which whatever way we do as a trinity there's me myself and I and the mother father child the holy ghost father son holy holy ghost however you want to put it but it's still three so if we could you know I think if we could get this in our heads, me, if I could get it in my head, which 
self is operating and wh- how we are doing and how the lower self, the child in me, is obeying the commands from the middle self. And the middle self and the higher self, they're not going to have you doing anything wrong. It's just the lower self does not want to be disciplined. And as old as I am, I'm going on, what, 67 in March. And it's still a journey, and it's still fun. I'm just, I, I do feel good, even though, you know, I have these ailments in but I feel good and it's just nice to be here and be around nice people. And <laughs> oh God, I promised myself I I would uh, let things be and have patience with things because all things going to work together for the good, them that love the Lord. And I still love my beginning. Whatever religion I've studied, I pick up things that nourish my soul. I don't care what I go through or what religion I study. There are some things that it does, uh, you know, nourish me. And I still remember these things. That's the key to remember. Oh, I'm going on 16 minutes. Okay. <laughs> anyway, the message is to keep smiling. That's it. Just smile. And, and you know. You got to smile through these things and laughter when you can laugh. So just be happy, okay? Live long and have a happy life. Bye.